we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun We know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy, but things are finally right With you and I, the future is bright Hi everyone, so guess what? The garden is finally planted so i am going to show you what's going on in our garden unfortunately matt is helping some family members today so it'll just be me but hopefully he'll be back next time so outside the garden the onions and the flowers matt planted are coming up just beautifully these onions look great these were some sets we purchased after we decided we just didn't have enough onions the Armenian yard long and the Parisian pickling cucumbers got planted alongside our arches as we're coming in. And they were pretty yellow when I planted them and they are starting to green up a bit. So that's really exciting. The cabbages are doing really well. I haven't seen any heads on them yet, um, but they are just looking beautiful. Along with those volunteer tomato plants that came up in here, they are even bigger than the tomato plants that we planted. So. Who knows, maybe we'll get some surprise, hopefully good tomatoes off of them. All four of the tomato towers have, tomato towers, all four of the potato towers have potato plants coming up. Oh, and so we aren't doing anything with them. A couple of people asked how you would hill them. We're not doing anything because the potatoes hopefully are gonna grow safely in that dirt so they're not seeing the sunlight. And this is just gonna be the plant portion of the potato, but hopefully, <laughs> All goes well and we get quite a few for the small area we had to plant them in. The broccoli and cauliflower that we planted at the top of the garden here, the cauliflower in particular, was quite purple and it is also getting quite a bit more green and the plants are starting to grow. We're actually noticing a little bit of growth on them, um, so that's good. So what I did is I put these cages down over them just so nobody steps on them when they're coming in the garden. The kids like to throw weeds and things to the chickens and I don't want them accidentally stepping on one of these broccoli or cauliflower plants. The lettuce in the back of the garden is doing well and I did plant some but not all the way along the back like I usually do sunflowers. I planted them to about here where our cold crops end and a little past actually and that way we can get some sun in the garden because the sunflowers did end up shading quite a bit of our peppers last year and we didn't want that. The dill I planted right here is coming up. So I planted our peppers in a similar fashion to last year. Last year we had one row going along the back of our garden and we had our bell peppers towards the top of the garden and then our hot peppers towards the bottom of the garden. So I kind of did flip that. I put all of our hot peppers. Um, we have some cayenne some jalapeno, some Tabasco, and then we also did um, pepperoncini peppers and not a pino peppers. I put all those to the side here of the apple tree. And then past the apple tree, down kind of where the pigs are here, I put all of our bell peppers. And these are all King of the North bell peppers. We've had really good luck with those here. Um, I believe they have a little bit shorter growing season and that does seem to be key. Um, so it does seem like the heat's bothering them a bit. Matt and I have been trying to get out here every morning and water. We do need to get our drip line. Some of it is in, some of it needs to get set up, and some of it just needs to be refigured and turned on. So we have been having to water since we've planted. So that'll be something that we have to get taken care of to make it a little bit easier on us. I planted two tomato trellises of tomatoes and it's a variety, um, mostly like large indeterminate tomatoes, a few Roma type tomatoes. And then I believe we have 10 cherry tomato plants, which we've never had more than like one or two plants. So that's a lot for us, but it was the exact amount of tomato plants I needed to fill these trellises, which was kind of crazy. Last year we did have a third row back here and we do not this year. I spaced out the peppers a little bit more and the tomatoes are about a foot apart. The rest of that broccoli is down here in the bottom of the garden so hopefully it'll get a little bit more shade and not bolt so easily this year. Our kohlrabi 
this plant in the front of the garden. I think we way overdid it on the kohlrabi mat. I was hoping to ferment some kind of like pickles this year. So we're going to give that a try and see if we like it. But I might just think that because kohlrabi is not my favorite. Um, I do like it cooked, but I don't know. It's just not my thing. We got three rows of beans in and that was all I was able to fit with all that kohlrabi going in there. And then I did also plant some celery over here. So three rows of beans. So I will be replanting beans a lot. Like probably anytime something's coming out of the garden, I'm gonna try to sneak in little rows of beans so that we can um, get quite a few more in. All that celery is planted all the way up here to the pear tree. And then our garlic is on this side. Lots of volunteers this year up in the garden. Our wood chips in some places were kind of thin and I think that's partially why. But we have a lot of dill popping up, a lot of sunflowers popping up, and then also a lot of onions. So some of those things like the onions, I did have to pick out if they were just in the wrong spot. But otherwise I left them in because who doesn't want a random sunflower in their garden or extra dill? Our raspberries are doing really wonderful. We're trying to keep them contained. I am cutting back what's coming up around the edge here and we're starting to see some raspberries forming as well as strawberries. The strawberry flowers turning into little green strawberries so they'll be here soon too. So Matt was pointing out an interest interesting phenomenon with our garlic. He said, look, the stuff that gets more sun is larger and then the stuff that gets less sun is smaller, right? And so I was telling him, I was like, actually, I planted it that way. I planted it so it would be staggered, like the bigger bulbs towards the back and the other ones towards the front. So I think it's probably a combination of both of those things, of the bigger garlic versus the smaller garlic. But then the more I was thinking about it, I was like, why did I do it that way? So I think next year, if I try to remember, I'll put the bigger garlic on this side and the smaller garlic that way because our bigger garlic is going to shade some of the smaller, smaller garlic now. So all those little things, always learning, always something more to understand or do in our gardens. The zucchini are doing really well considering they don't really have a lot of shade or anything. And I've just been trying to keep them watered. Matt's been trying to keep them watered. But we've had some craziness going on with the bees, so I haven't been up there too much. And they are going to need some weeding because there are so many weeds in there with them. And that's going to have to get taken care of so that they can get all the water they would like. Our flowers in our edge of our flower bed here are doing really, really well. There was a geranium that Leroy gave me that I was a little bit worried about. And it seems to be doing much better than it was, so that's good. All our onions are doing well. The leeks look fantastic. You can't even tell the difference really between the leeks and then the set onions. So I'll come into the greenhouse real quick with you, but it is hot in here. I don't want to stay in here. We stole that thermometer out of here a while back when we were hatching chicks and never put it back. So I need to find that and get that back in here so we can tell exactly how hot it is. It is going to need shade cloth soon. Carrots doing wonderful. All these herbs doing wonderful. I've said I'm going to bring some out. I'm going to bring some out. I am and I need to harvest some so that's gonna have to happen this week lots of greens we've been eating greens every day spinach arugula pretty much in our eggs every morning uh, mustard and lettuce for salad for lunch every day and I need to add some seeds here too don't I maybe that'll happen uh, later today maybe this evening when the Sun goes down our elderberry um, plants are the last thing I have left to plant as far as plants go I've got two they're doing really well and then one that doesn't seem to have any green on it so I'm not really too hopeful there it did at one point have green on it and now it doesn't so hopefully we'll get at least two elderberries planted and then we will be able to have that gotta get out of there we'll be able to have that growing and um, something to do with it hopefully in the next couple years. I'd like to say that's it and that's a wrap for our garden for the year, but really is just getting started. It's just that it is finally planted now. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I'm glad you got to see me again. Bye.